Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So, if you uh, do or do not recall, this is the PS4 version. Borrow your friend's powers. The Wayfinder allows you to dimension link with friends and borrow their powers. You will meet lots of characters throughout the story that you can delink with. So, last time we started off the game, and we didn't get much accomplished except the... a lot of cutscenes. But you know, um, RPGs like this, they tend to have a lot of cutscenes. Stories are good in RPGs like this. So we now have a Wayfinder. Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Yeah, I apologize if you guys cannot see the, um... I apologize if you, if you can't, can, ugh, cannot see the 60 FPS. I said a couple times last time that it's definitely there, just on the screen, but not in the, uh, thing. Alright, this gauge represents your health. Something about it depleting. I think you lose if, if, if it depletes. Use square to defend yourself. Press it while moving to slide. Can do. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Nope. Gonna adjust it. All right, that should do it. Or press square while holding still to block. This command gauge fills when your attacks hit enemies. If you go a few seconds without landing an attack, it will start to drain. Just like that. Once you've filled the gauge all the way, you can devastate opponents with the powerful finish command. Sliding dash, quick blitz, stun edge! Using triangle commands instead of regular attacks to fill the command gauge may cause you to change command styles. P command styles make your X attacks much more powerful. With which command styles you get depends on the commands you use to fill the gauge. You will unlock more as you progress. Some command styles are tricky to activate. Try all kinds of command combinations. Now, just like before, I plan on doing all I can for each character. It's fine if you're fighting one on one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Now we play against or as Aqua. Use your shot lock command to hit lots of enemies at once. Hold down R1 and a big target circle will appear. Use the left stick to point the circle at one or more enemies and lock on multiple times. While still holding R1, press X to use your shot lock, which hits enemies as many times as you've locked on. Kind of like that. Shot lock attacks require focus. This focus gauge will drain when you use them. Okay, let's wrap this up. Uh, I'll go with Terra. Now, it's worth noting that each of three characters levels up at different paces. I could be wrong, but I think Terra levels up the fastest. Ventus levels up at a moderate speed. And Aqua, of course, levels up the slowest.
trust me. You guys are ready. We're gonna clean up the exam tomorrow. I hope it's that easy. It's like the master said. Power is born within the heart. When the time is right, you just need to look inside yourself, and you'll find it there. Power is born within the heart. During your travels, you can find new strength by playing on the command board. In this game, you roll the dice and power up your commands as you make your way along the board. You can access the command board at save points or on the world map. The commands in your command deck become your game pieces, and you can also obtain new commands. That is important to note. Oh, you don't want to lose track of stuff that's happened. I like how he, like, says that, as though it's like an actual thing that's in their world, and it's not just existing for game purposes. It's like save points are actually part of their everyday lives. Move into the circle of light and press X to save your progress. Touching the circle fully restores HP. <clears throat> it's also worth noting, by the way, that, um, stupid me, uh, deleted the save data for, uh, Kingdom Hearts Re-Chain of Memories. So, uh, yeah. That's not gonna be coming back. So, as much as that sucks, I don't really mind it. All there was really left to do was show off the treasure rooms. Hey, we're gonna head back. Yeah. Me too. Also, I apologize if the audio is kinda quiet. I, I try to I try to balance it out and I try to balance it in my voice out. Together. Always. Why aren't you guys it just leaving? Be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Well, that's sad. Those are like our colors. Alright, now here's the point where you can choose what character you want to play as. In this game, you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character visits different places and meets different people, and only by finishing all three stories will you uncover this tale's deeper truths. So, let's see. We have Terra, a disciplined young man who feels compelled to find greater strength. He relies on brute force in combat. Ventus, an outgoing and inquisitive boy who holds his keyblade backhand. Quick attacks are his forte. Aqua, a kind young woman whose sense of right and wrong never wavers. She is nimble and a gifted mage. I want to go with Terra first. I'm gonna do it. In, I'm gonna do it in order of Terra, Ventus, and Aqua.
day you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates. But this is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Xehanort, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. As Wizard from Wow Wow Wubsy once said, Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. You two focus on the exam. But Ven, you are in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I've been looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. Yeah. I'm not gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, Ven. I apologize about that. About me uh, having to mute my mic. Destroy the orbs of light. You mean the orbs of light that have now been corrupted by darkness? That's actually kind of cool, honestly. That these orbs of light have now been... That these are these are balls of light with... I, I'm pretty sure balanced darkness and light. Like, it's darkness and light in one ball. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's not part of the test, but it's cool. Well, the darkness part isn't part of the test. Definitely not part of the test, I should say. Also, I might have to turn this down just a tiny bit. I don't know if that's good, but hopefully it is. It sounds like it's drowning out my voice. It really does sound like that. That's better. Come here, you. Now, um, I don't know if it elaborated on this, but depending on the com uh, I mean, it did- it did elaborate that. Really, Mui? Depending on the commands used, you can make different command styles. The default command style... Oh, yeah, okay. Hang on. So the default command style always happens when you, um, you know, you just, you just use the keyblade, like physical attack to that command. Hang on. I apologize for these constant interruptions. <clears throat> I apologize for these constant interruptions. Um, it's growing closer to noon right now. And I will be leaving for my appointment at noon. So, I just figured I would clear that up. I also tend to, like, adjust the volume to make sure that, uh... You know, like, you can hear me and the game. Just figured I'd clear that up. Change the command styles. If you fill up the command gauge at, at least partly using deck commands, you will sometimes change command styles. 
The command style you get depends on how many and which deck commands you, you used. I will be going for unlocking all of them. Unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test. One I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin. <laughs> He's plotting something. We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from? What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. <sighs> Sorry. But I need some time alone. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes. You are indeed strong. The darkness is nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you would never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. What happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more we can then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, which you may assume, but also from a new one that feeds on negativity. 
of legend potions that have taken monster form. Yen Sid calls them the Unversed. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. The darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Last, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. That's sweet. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra. You mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power. An obsession beckons the darkness. You must never forget. Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Where can I get one of those? Forge a D-Link with Ventus. How D-Linking works. While D-Link, you can use the other character's commands. This D-Link gauge will drain as long as you remain linked. When the gauge runs out, your link will be broken. D-Linking fully restores your HP. Refill the gauge by collecting these D-Link prizes. Defeating enemies while D-Linked may cause them to drop special emblems. Collect the emblems to power up the D-Link. Forge the D-Link with Aqua. Unlock the command board for the Land of Departure. So, here we are. So the very first world would be Enchanted Dominion. But, I'm going to be saving this for next time. I do want to save before I end off this episode though, that... There are a lot of things to be done as each character, and I intend to do them. There's, there's beating every command board, using every shot lock to get it on record, 
getting every weapon, getting every single command, unlocking every single command style, playing every minigame, finding treasure chests in each world, uh, there's like more, but I'll discuss it more as time goes on, as I uh, unlock them. The point is, there's a lot of things to do as each character, and I've done them before as... I've done them before on the PS3 version. I intend to do them on the PS4 version as well. You know, to get back to where I was as each character. Now, this game, I all I'm gonna say is... This is one of, also apparently one of those games where... Um, not everything will be available to do until I beat other storylines. So I'm still debating whether or not I should... Uh, do some of the challenges that involve un having challenges unlocked when you complete storylines, or just waiting until all three storylines are complete to do some of those challenges. I might just do all I can as each character, or I, I might do all, all I can as one character, and just come back to that character when more has been unlocked. It's all of It's all a somewhat complicated series of things to do, and, quite honestly, like I said, there's a lot of things to do as each character. And it is all going to be time-consuming. It is going to be tough. Some of it will be frustrating. Some of it will be easy. Some of it will be... Well, it'll provide a fair and fun challenge. Others may not. But... This game is one of my favorite games in the Kingdom Hearts series. And I figured... I wanted to do this again at some point, but since my PS3 doesn't want to read... Uh... It doesn't want to read Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD... Oh, that's just a YouTube notification. Um... Since my PS3 doesn't want to read any disc, including Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD, I decided I wanted to do this on the PS4 version. And honestly, since this game is one of my favorites, every time I think about it, it just brings back so many amazing memories. And I just love this game to pieces. Sure, it frustrated me at times in the past, but... I still love it for what it is, and I most definitely, I, I most definitely want to be able to do all I can in this game. And I just want to say, you might see me adjusting the volume at times, you might see me muting my mic. There are times when I'm called or when I'm greeted by my parents when they want to tell me something, and muting my mic I figure it's the easiest way for me to be able to really... Uh, make things less awkward. It, like, when I, when there's, like, a knock at the door, I, I have to, like, take a second to, like, move my mouse down to the mute microphone button, and they end up knocking again, and I, like, call out to them and all that. It's kind of, it's kind of, like, it's a little awkward, but there are times when I do playthroughs or let's plays, whatever you want to call them, when things like this happen. And I can't control it. I can't control how hard they close the door, causing the microphone to have this weird, like, scratching sound. And you can you can clearly hear it in the video. I could not... I could not have predicted when my microphone went, um... Like, mute, or wasn't working for like, two or three episodes of Chipper and Son's Lumber Co. The point I'm trying to make is... At first, I didn't want to do this game again, but as I looked more into it, and I, I realized, even if you, you, even if you can't really see this game in 60 FPS, I can. But that's not the reason I wanted to I wanted to come back to it. The reason is because thinking about this game brought me so many nostalgic memories of 2018, and I realized how much I loved this game. And. I'll be honest, I look forward to going through this again. 
like I said in the beginning, there may be a very, very, very slim chance that I might do the, uh, other Kingdom Hearts games that I have not done on PS4. I'm also gonna, probably gonna make this, uh, series its own little playlist. Because I made a big playlist of, like, 157 videos, and I called it the Kingdom Hearts era. <clears throat> I'm probably going to make this PS4 version its own playlist. Plus, it, it'll make it easier for people to, uh... Well, I mean, this is the first game chronologically in the series, so they can always find that as the first game in the big playlist. But if I make this its own playlist, it'll probably be easier for people to look at or to find. I just wanted to get all this out of, off, out of, my, out of my mind and off my chest before I ended off the episode. Because there is a lot to do as each character. There are different storylines. There are different moments in each world. <clears throat> each of three characters, Terra, Ventus, and Aqua, all of them are going to visit... I'll be back. I gotta go. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell, and I'll see you next time.